has a unique uh, it's unique organ because it has two blood supplies. The portal vein provides 75% of the liver's blood supply and the hepatic artery supplies the remaining 25%. And tumors that grow in the liver typically receive their blood supply from the hepatic artery, which make chemolization and radiolization possible. So what we do? We take advantage of that by placing a catheter in the arteries going to the liver. To making all together, putting all together, this is clearly an evolving technique. We need to obtain a safe and effective treatment and innovation allow us to improve beat particle drug, improve our technical approach in order to offer to the patient new management modalities. Renobilization is a little bit different than other transarterial therapies. The intent here is to inject uh, radioactive microspheres in the uh, uh, liver arteries, taking into account the uh, preferential uptake of the lesions compared to the surrounding parenchyma. Where do you see, you know, the chemoembolization? Will it stay? Will it have its place? Will it be replaced by radioembolization? Or will we have in the future two procedures, two intraarterial procedures for treatment of uh, liver tumors? Uh, it's for sure that uh, we cannot recognize one over the other. It depends on the patient, it depends on the lesion. We can have some advantages of both of them. Mm -hmm.